Welcome to Science Tree Channel. Today's topic is Coordinate Covalent Bond from Class 9th, Chapter Number 4. The word coordinate means to understand other issues. And here is the issues of atoms. They want to get electrons. Now, in coordinate covalent bond, a pair of electron will be donated by single atom. One atom will donate a pair of electron and the other atom will get a pair of electron. So let's see how. When a bond pair of electron is donated by one bonded atom only, the word bond pair of electron means that a pair of electron which is taking part in forming a bond between two atoms. Do you know that who explained this concept? Yes. This concept was explained by Sidwick. Let's take an example. What is this? These are two atoms and one atom is hydrogen. No, this is not hydrogen. Hydrogen has one electron in its outermost shell. This is H positive. It means that this hydrogen has already lost its one electron and now it's empty. It requires two electrons to get stable or to follow the duplet rule. Now who gonna share that two electrons or a pair of electron? Yes, this is nitrogen. Nitrogen belongs to group number 15. It has five electrons in its outermost shell. Now what gonna be happened? Hydrogen needs two electrons and nitrogen has one lone pair of electron. Now, nitrogen will donate a pair of electron to hydrogen and this will be a coordinate sharing. We all know that sharing is caring. So here, nitrogen is caring for hydrogen. In this way, nitrogen will share a pair of electron with hydrogen and after sharing, we know that hydrogen will no more be H positive. It gonna be a stable atom H. The brackets which are present around this whole process is known as a duct and the positive charge will gonna be moved to a duct. Let's take another example. Coordinate covalent bond is also known as dative bond. So let's study an example of dative bond in ammonia and boron trifluoride. Here is nitrogen and we know that nitrogen belongs to group number 5A. So can you please tell me that how many number of electrons present in the outermost shell of nitrogen? Yes, you are right. 5 electrons will present in the valence shell of nitrogen. And nitrogen wants to complete its octet rule. So it needs 8 electrons. The rest of the three electrons will be given by hydrogen. So in this way, now this is ammonia. And in ammonia, nitrogen completes its octet rule, while each hydrogen is completing its duplet rule. This is boron. Boron belongs to group number 3A. So it has three electrons in its valence shell. It also wants to complete its octet rule. Now it's a long journey. Let's see how boron completes its 8 electrons. Boron will take one electron from each fluorine. So by this sharing, how many number of electrons will present in the valence shell of boron? Let's count them. After taking one electron from each fluorine, it's gonna be 6. Now, boron needs 2 more. The 2 more electrons or we can say a pair of electron will be donated by nitrogen in this way. So now, this is a coordinate covalent bond or we can say that this is a sharing of a pair of electron from nitrogen to boron and we know 
when a pair of electron is sheared and donated by a single atom and a duct formation takes place. A duct formation will be shown by square brackets. Now who gonna be a donor and a scepter in case of ammonia and boron trifluoride. Ammonia is donating a pair of electron to boron trifluoride. So here ammonia will be act as an donor while boron trifluoride will be act as an acceptor and a product which is formed will be known as a duct. So this is all about coordinate covalent bond. For more videos keep watching.